Hello everybody, welcome back to another Young Guns Hockey video. Today we are doing the Metropolitan Division Preview. This is going to be me, um, you call me Spence. The other person that usually does the, or the previews, I mean, the last two previews was Jordan, but he is not available to do them right now. So we're going to begin with the Columbus Blue Jackets. I think this team had a big turnover this year. They did lose a lot of depth, that's my main issue with this team. Adding Artemi Panarin is a big star power for their team. Um... I think it helps them out a lot. Their defense is one of the best in the best in the NHL. Uh, Bob Robsky, if he can have another great season, you know, I think they'll do a well. I think they're a playoff team. My only problem, again, though, is, is the whole thing with Bob in the playoffs. Like, is he going to be able to snap out of that? Um, but, yeah, I think the Columbus Blue Jackets could finish, like, third or second in the uh, Metropolitan Division. So, yeah, that is my uh, perspective on the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, next up, we'll move on to the Washington Capitals. All right, so the Washington Capitals. <laughs> Um, a team that uh, hasn't been able to get past the second round. And I feel like this this is a big, like, kind of bold prediction. I don't even think they're going to make the second round this year, um, to be honest with you. I think they'll have a good regular season. They lost a lot of depth, their defense especially. Um, lost a lot of depth offensively. Lost Justin Williams, Marcus Johansson. I don't know why they traded him to the Devils, because that's a division rival, but whatever. But, yeah, other than that, I mean, Braden Holpe is going to have to, again, have a good year, dude. I'm not saying carry this team, but to help his team, you know. Uh, another thing that's just good as well is CJ Oshi and his contract. I don't know what why the Capitals gave him that kind of contract. <laughs> Eight years. I mean, he's only 30. That contract has the potential to blow up in, like, the next three years. Um, and Ovechkin as well. Is he declining? Um, Nicholas Backstrom is a very underrated center. He's pretty good. You know, they still have Berkowski. They still have Knessoff. Um, they have Orloff on the blue line. They still have Carlson um, and Niskin. I mean, it, this team is still good. I just don't see him as, like, a cup contender anymore. And stop it with that. This is our year. Just stop with that. Like, it's a horrible PR stunt. So, next we are going to the favorite team. Everyone loves this team, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, oh boy. Ah, uh, yes. The back-to-back -back champions. Can the Penguins repeat? I don't know. Honestly, um, my opinion, I feel like they can. I feel like they still have a strong chance. I mean, especially with their center core of Malkin and Crosby. And then they have Castle, Hornquist, Jake Gensel, if the guy turns out to actually, you know, play a full season and play well. I mean, they're, they just look like a dangerous team to me still. My question, though, is with Matt Murray. Can he play a full extent amount of games, a whole 60 games, uh, and not just have short stints of success? Because that's just me. I mean, Matt Murray, yes, he's won two back-to-back -back um, Stanley Cups as, you know, a rookie, which is impressive. But at the same time, you have to also remember, it's not just him. You know, there's also a team in front of him. <laughs> but I don't hate Matt Murray. It's just I think he does have something to prove this year. The defense does look a little hurt, however, for the Penguins this year. You know, losing a guy like Trevor Daly. They did get Matt Hunwick, who's a decent skater. So, I mean, I'll give him that. The problem, excuse me, the problem that could be with the Penguins, though, however, is their, um, is their center core. They don't have a third-line center right now. You know, Nick Benino's gone. That could be an issue. But you know what? I think they can overcome it overall. But it could be a big issue, though, if, like, Malkin or Crosby gets hurt. So, Pittsburgh Penguins, I see them, like, first or um, second. First, probably in the in the Metropolitan. So that is what I have the Penguins as. And next, we'll do the Carolina Hurricanes. Okay, so the Carolina Hurricanes. This team is interesting. I mean, they have the youth. They have a lot of very nice like assets. Um, Scott Dong, I think, is a pretty good goaltender, and should help them out a lot. Um, again, there's just a lot of questions. Though, at the same time, I mean, it's like, can this youth, even if they make the playoffs, you know, perform in the playoffs? You know, there's a lot of questions in that area. Um, but my preview is pretty short on this team because it's like really, I think they can. I really think they can. I think they can take like a wild, a wild card spot from like the Rangers, um, or the Flyers. You know what I mean? Um, so I probably predict this team like four for fifth of the Metro. Uh, I think they could be a playoff team and, you know, they have a lot of youth and skill and it'll be interesting to see how they play this year. So, uh, next stop, uh, great. New York Islanders. Fantastic. Oh boy, the New York Islanders. Honestly, this team is is just a joke. And like, I mean, but what they're doing, I don't agree with. I don't really understand what Garth Snow is doing. Trading Travis Hamannick away now, their defense just looks completely obsolete. Um, getting Jordan Arby, trading him away for Riley Strom, it's pretty much underachiever for underachiever. Yes, Jordan Arby has some upside other than Riley Strom, and he could be Tavares' next line. Why did you get rid of Kyle Capozo? You know, two seasons ago or a season and a half ago. 
you know, it's, I don't know. I, I think the Islanders are going to be the bottom of the, of the uh, Metropolitan. So, like, what is that, eighth? Yeah, eighth eight for the, <laughs> the Metropolitan Division. There's no contest here that the Islanders are, they're not going to be a good team this year, honestly. And if they are, I'll, I'll look back at this video and just laugh. Oops, forgot to say uh, what team I was doing next. All right, so next team, the Philadelphia Flyers. Interesting team. I mean, they're kind of like the Hurricanes at the same. You know, they have a lot of youth, they have a lot of talent coming up. From. No one Patrick's going to be in the roster this year for the Flyers. I mean, they're looking pretty good right now. I mean, even Proveroff on the blue line. They have pieces like Quadru, Yakov Vorchek, Wayne Simmons. I mean, their defense is kind of mad, but, you know, that now I have the same Gospisphere back there. Um, you know, even Proveroff. I mean, they have some nice defensive pieces. And also, the only problem with Philadelphia is their goaltending. I don't know if Brian Elliott is still has has what it, like, you know, has what he had a couple of years ago to be a starter. I don't know. Um, I just see Philadelphia on the inside out of the playoff window. I feel like they can make a good impression and be competitive. But I think they're going to be like 6th for 7th in the Metropolitan Division. So, next up is the New York Rangers. All right, so next up is the New York Rangers. This this team is kind of like hard to like decipher because like they did add Kevin Shattenkirk, a good defensive upgrade. I mean, it, their defense looks pretty decent this year. Um, you know, like Kevin Shattenkirk, Ryan McDonough, and Mark Stahl. Mark Stahl to me is like declining though. I don't really know. Henrik Lundqvist is the big question this year. He really is. I mean, he kind of sh- started showing declines of year of <clears throat> excuse me started to show. Signs of decline last season. Played good in the playoffs, but you know what I mean? I feel like the decline's going to start to catch up to him this year. I just don't see the Rangers as a playoff team. I mean, their offense is looking like if right now. I mean, they, they lost some, some interesting players this offseason. You know, Derek Stepan in the trade. Um... You know, they have Mecca Sabinajad. Now, can Mecca Sabinajad have first one ice time? I mean, Rick Nash, I feel like, is going to still have a good season, but I feel like his numbers aren't going to be where they were last year. I mean, they still have Matt Zuccarello. The guy's pretty good. Um, Chris Kreider. I mean, they have Jimmy VC still. Jimmy Hayes, if he can have a season like he did last year. I don't know. The Rangers are just a team that's, like, kind of iffy right now. Um, it's kind of tough to predict them, really. I think, like, fifth or, like, fourth maybe third maybe maybe third you know I'll, I'll say the rangers maybe third but i feel like the hurricanes could also be third as well i know i'm mixing up things but i don't know i feel like the hurricanes could take this team's wild card spot away so next up and finally the new jersey devils all right so the new jersey devils uh this is a team that's like an inside out team again kind of the same thing as a philadelphia flyers they're a team that looks good and you know, a lot of talent. I mean, I think the Devils are going to do good offensively this year. I mean, their forward core looks pretty decent. Uh, defense, I think, could be an issue. I mean, especially with Andy Green and a lot of other stuff. Like, they, do, they do have Michael Muir. They do, they do have Severson. They have some nice pieces there. Uh, their goaltending, obviously, Snyder, one of the be- best goaltenders in the league. He's a bit underrated, in my opinion. Uh, but, yeah, I think the the Devils could – they could be in the wild card hunt, I guess. I mean, maybe take a spot away from, like, the Atlantic. They could be. It just all depends on how the Flyers do and how the Hurricanes do as well. I mean, the, the uh, Metropolitan should be a, di- a very interesting se- uh, division to watch this season. But, yeah, I, I think the Devils could be, make a playoff spot. But in, like, in like a brutally honest – perspective of it no i don't think this team is going to be a playoff team just yet maybe if they make a good acquisition on defense maybe it would put them over the top but that is my opinion on new jersey devils so i hope you guys enjoyed the metropolitan division preview and i'll see you guys in the next one